let's face it, seeing that everything is just getting more and more expensive nowadays, most of us are looking for ways to earn just a little bit more of extra income. And even though I started to become a vet, I always had a massive interest in business and have pretty much been hustling my whole life. But I've also seen that the whole hustle culture has been kind of romanticized, especially here on YouTube, as people making videos like these are often already very successful, earning a ton of money, which may give off a false perception that this is something that is very easy to do. Now, I'm not going to be one of those people, sorry. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how much I made as well as how much I spent on all my side hustles during the past 26 months, starting from the beginning of 2020 all the way until the end of February 2022. I will be sharing every single product I used, every single cent that I paid for it, and how much I eventually ended up making from all of these ventures. I want this video to be an as accurate as possible representation of what it takes to start a side hustle, at least from my own experience, so that you guys can have a more realistic idea of what really goes into running your own small business. Now, I am by no means saying that I am doing this the best way, but it is a good way for me to show you guys what my journey has been so far, with the hope that we can all learn from each other together. I will be using the South African Rand currency in this video, but if you are watching from another country, you can simply divide it by 15 to get the equivalent value in US dollar. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I graduated from vet school at the end of 2019 and started working at the beginning of 2020. My one friend and I started a pet sitting business at the beginning of 2017 during our fourth year of studies, where we basically connected pet owners with vet and vet nurse students who looked after their pets and homes when they went away on holiday. Because, you know, who better to look after your doggo than a future veterinarian? We started very small because we were broke college students, like most of you can probably relate, and in the beginning we tried to print out our own business cards, cut it ourselves and handing it out to strange people at the entrance of the Wonderboom shopping mall in Pretoria until the security chased us away. Now, as you can imagine, this has been an absolute mess. So we eventually bit the bullet, bought a domain name and started a website on Wix, which I will link to down in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out. This was my first real exposure to the online business world and as soon as I started it, I was basically hooked. Anyway, fast forward to 2020 when we both were starting to work, it was difficult to manage the business while we were so far apart, so I bought his shares in the business for 13,350 Rand. Apart from this, I also had to renew the business's domain and website by the end of January 2020 for 149 Rand and 1745 rand respectively. It was also during this time where I wanted to learn more about digital marketing and subsequently I bought an online course labeled Digital Roadmap Elite Inc for 995 rand. This course has actually been very helpful to me as I really didn't know jack about this space but they then tried to upsell me to their main course which was something ridiculous like 80,000 rand which I obviously could not afford, so I just took what I could learn from it and then I moved on. Then around April 2020, I bought another online course labeled Insaka E-Commerce Academy for 1,997 Rand that basically taught you all about e-commerce and dropshipping in the South African setting. Again, the course was really helpful, but in order to continue with the course, I had to pay another couple of thousand rands and Seeing that I didn't really have the capital and couldn't justify the costs, I decided to opt out. I initially thought that I wanted to start an online vet shop, but it all looked too complicated and expensive to do at the time, so I decided against it. And that is when I turned to YouTube and started watching income reports from big personal finance YouTubers like Nate O'Brien and Graham Stephan. I had absolutely zero experience with photography, videography or editing, but decided that this looked like something that I could potentially do. 
I was too shy to show my face at first, so I decided to make Reddit videos where you basically just convert popular Reddit threads to a video using weird robotic AI voices. It was something that was very popular on YouTube at the time and I thought it looked easy enough to do. My channel's name was Reddit Vigilante and I will also link to it down in the description if you want to check it out and have a good laugh. It only has something like 16 subscribers, 5 of which are fake that I made up and I think I only uploaded about 17 videos to it. Not successful at all, but I am glad that I did it this way as it helped me to learn how the platform works, how to make thumbnails, how to edit and how to make things like banner images, logos, descriptions and all those sort of things. So in mid-April, I bought a lifetime subscription to Wondershare Filmora, which I still use to this day for my editing, for 1,365 Rand. Then, as the Kurola Hoja started stirring the world apart, a lot of misinformation was being spread with regards to pets spreading the virus. This caused many pet owners to stress and led to many pets being abandoned across the world. This obviously upset me, being a vet and all, and thus, I decided that it was time I put my face in front of the camera and start fighting these lies. And thus, I bought a 4-in-1 vlogging set which had a small microphone, ring light, tripod and a mount for phone for around 1,243 Rand. I also bought an online course on how to grow on YouTube on Udemy for 150 Rand and at the end of May 2020, I also bought a Bastille high back office chair for 1,600 Rand a 6 terabyte Seagate HDD external drive for 1,900 Rand and a Samsung 24 inch gaming LED monitor for 2,000 Rand. After editing about 17 videos on my 8 year old cranky laptop, I got really frustrated as it was so slow and was absolutely killing my productivity. And seeing that I was highly motivated to take this whole YouTube thing seriously, I bit the bullet and bought an MSI Prestige PS63 modern 8th generation Intel i7 laptop with 32GB of DDR4 RAM and a 1TB SSD for 28,100 Rand. I know, it was very expensive for me to pay at the time, but it was really a game changer and has not let me down once ever since. So, no regrets. I also bought the JBL Tune 700 BT headphones for 1,300 Rand in the beginning of June 2020, which is supposed to be over the ear, but it really is not as it really hurts my ears when wearing for long periods at a time, but the sound quality and battery life is really good, so maybe I just have weird misformed ears. Anyway, in order to make my background look a bit better, I also bought two wooden tables and a pot plant for 960 Rand and a Nguni canvas for 300 Rand. And then by mid-June of 2020, I created my veterinary channel called Dr. Pete and posted my first video where I addressed and debunked all the concerns about Corolla and pets. This was a very scary thing to do for me as I wasn't sure what the reaction of my friends and family would be, but surprisingly, Everyone was really supportive and the video did quite well. So from there on, I just continued to publish videos about once a week and tried to learn as much as possible on how to grow on YouTube from YouTube. I also tried growing on Instagram and Facebook, but it was too much work trying to be active on all three platforms while working as a full-time vet. So I later on just focused my attention on YouTube. In July 2020, I bought a monthly subscription to TubeBuddy for 81 Rand, which is a program that helps to grow your channel, and I have been paying the monthly subscription fee ever since. I also bought a yearly subscription to Canva for 2,063 Rand, which is a really useful tool that I'm using to make my thumbnails and infographics, and it also gives you access to a massive library of stock images and videos, which I often use in my YouTube videos. In August 2020, I took things seriously and registered a business called Vetmarks Pty Limited, under which I could now write off many business expenses against the income that I would eventually receive. By the way, if you have any sort of side hustle earning an income, I would highly encourage you to register a business as it will save you a ton of money in taxes. 
I can make a video about how to do this. So let me know down in the comments if this is something that you guys would be interested in seeing. All right, so the whole business registration process cost 2,250 Rand. In September of 2020, I bought an ebook from the content creators Danaga and Stacy for 432 Rand. They are both digital nomads that are traveling full time, and my wife and I really enjoyed watching their travel vlogs as this sort of lifestyle really appealed to us. So we decided to buy the book to see what it really takes to become full-time content creators as this was something that I was starting to look into all the way back then. During that month I also had to buy 5,000 colored pamphlets for my pet sitting business for 2,094 rand and I also bought another Udemy course on pet CPR for 200 rand as I wanted to create an online course for pets and wanted to see what the competition was like. In October 2020, I decided to upgrade my YouTube equipment and bought a Rode SmartLav Plus microphone for 1300 that you guys can see I am still using to this day. And I also bought an external DVD optimal drive for my laptop for 365 Rand as my laptop does not have an inbuilt optical drive. In November of 2020, I bought a Coolcomp cooling pad for my laptop for 274 Rand as my laptop started getting really warm when I had to edit a lot of footage and at the end of that month I bought my first camera a Canon M50 for 9,790 Rand a Manfrotto Element M2 aluminium tripod for 2,200 Rand a Lowepro Passport Dio bag for 450 Rand where I keep all my camera gear in an extra Canon LP E12 battery for 450 Rand and a Sandex 128GB SD card for 750 Rand up until this point, I filmed all of my videos on my Huawei P30 Lite using the vlogging set and although the quality was decent enough, I decided that it was time to upgrade to a real camera and I'm really glad that I did as this Canon M50 is really simple to use, it is affordable and it delivers excellent footage. So it is definitely one that I would recommend for anyone starting out. In December 2020, I wanted to upgrade my background a bit, so I bought a small bookcase for 400 Rand and an old map for 130 Rand. Up until this time, I had to film all of my videos during my lunch break, as that was the only time that I could use the daylight. We live in a complex, and often there will be a big love by when they mow the lawn or when the children are playing outside, for example, and this really helped me back. So I decided to buy a lighting kit for 2,472 Rand, which allowed me to film my videos late at night in peace. I also discovered that my lab mic did not work so well when plugged into my Huawei phone. So I bought a Zoom H1N1 recorder for 2,330 Rand, as well as a Rode 3.5 millimeter adapter for the SmartLav Plus, which cost 300 Rand. Then just to be as detailed as possible, for internet, we also spent 2,628 Rand on a 20 gigabyte per month Vodacom line and the banking costs for my business also totaled 1,049 Rand for the year. So all in all, for 2020, we spent 89,747 Rand on all our side hustles, averaging about 7,480 Rand per month. Now let's look at my expenses for 2021. In January, I started this YouTube channel but didn't make any purchases. In February, I had to pay for the annual review of my Pet Sydney website, which cost 1,805 Rand. It was also during this time that my wife, who by the way is also a vet, and I decided that we wanted to increase our influence by starting a veterinary blog called Pet Vet Tips. My only experience of creating websites was on Wix, which is a very basic drag and drop website builder, but the blog we wanted to start was on WordPress, which is much more advanced to learn. So after spending many weeks looking for good content on creating blogs, we stumbled upon Jim and Ricky from the Income School YouTube channel, who also has an online course on how to grow both a blog and a YouTube channel to a full-time income within 24 months. Now, to be honest, I wasn't sure if I was going to pay for another online course as my previous experiences have not been so fruitful, but after studying all of their free material, reading their reviews, and just seeing that they operate on good Christian principles with the core aim of actually trying to help people, 
My wife and I took the leap and purchased the Project 24 course for 6,840 Rand. I know this sounds very expensive and well, yes, it is. But the value we got out of this course so far is worth every single cent. Now, I will give a full review on this course in the future. So if any of you guys are interested in that, just let me know down in the comments. Okay, so we also subsequently started our blog in February and we are using Bluehost as the web host, which cost 1,618 Rand. We also had to pay for some domain renewals, which amounted to 329 Rand. In March 2021, I made another big purchase, mostly to boost my productivity. Up until this point, I had to memorize the script of my videos line by line and then regurgitate it to the camera. I tried talking from just bullet points, but seeing that I am not a native English speaker, this just ended up in frustration. My videos are also very information intense, so I experienced the script to be better as it was more organized and it was just easier to structure my video to get to the point. Now, seeing that most of my videos are longer than 15 minutes, this really took a lot of my time. So I decided to order the Glidegear TMP100 adjustable teleprompter from Amazon for 4,232 Rand. Did you guys know that I'm using a teleprompter? Let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to see if any of you were able to pick it up. Anyway, the reason I ordered it from Amazon is that for most tech stuff, it is actually cheaper to order it from the US, pay the import tax and the delivery fee than it is to order from a local store. I tried this a couple of times now and every single time I ended up saving a couple of thousand rands. So pro tip over here for you guys. In April 2021, I had to pay my accountant who manages my personal and business tax 350 rand. If you want to start your own business, I would highly encourage you to get a professional to manage your taxes as firstly, such is not merciful. And if you make a mistake with your tax filing, they will find you. And secondly, a tax expert knows how the system works and can end up saving you a lot more money than what you pay him. So definitely something to consider. In April, I also purchased an app that I use on my phone for the teleprompter, which basically moves the script according to the speed of your speech, which is really helpful as it allows me to just talk at my own pace instead of having to scroll down every time I reach the end of the screen. This app is called Prompt Smart Pro and it costs 51 Rand per month. In May 2021, I purchased a subscription to Manage WP, which is a service that backs up your content on your blog on a daily basis, which costs about 35 Rand per month. Seeing that my wife is mostly running the blog and was also struggling to work on my ancient eight year old laptop, we bought her a HP 11th generation Core i5 laptop with 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM and one terabyte HDD drive for 2,700 Rand. Subsequently, we also bought two laptop sleeves for 458 Rand and two wireless LED rechargeable mouses, mices, mice, how do you say it? Mouses for 598 Rand. These were mostly to protect our laptops and to improve our productivity as using a mouse is much faster than using the touchpad on the laptop. In June, I purchased a monthly subscription to MoneyWeb, which I use a lot for my research on my personal finance channel, which cost about 63 Rand per month. In July, I renewed my annual subscription to Canva for 1,794 Rand and also had to upgrade my Bluehost account as I reached the maximum amount of images that I could display or something like that. And this cost me 4,655 Rand. This is luckily for the next three years, so I won't have to worry about it for a while and it also allows me to have more than one website. In August, I purchased a yearly subscription to Grammarly, which is helpful with a blog as it corrects spelling and grammar errors, which again speeds up our productivity and this cost 2,216 Rand. Also, I had to pay my accountant again for the annual tax submission for my business, which cost 5,000 Rand. In September, I bought the Amazon 10th generation 8 GB Kindle for 2,784 Rand. We read a lot and we don't like too much clutter, so this made sense as we can now have access to hundreds of books without needing to store them in a large bookcase. I also purchased the ebook 
Global Investing Made Easy by Warren Ingram for 177 Rand as this was about the time when I started showing more interest in investing directly offshore and I wanted to gather as much info as possible on the topic before making any videos on it. In October, I bought a JBL portable Bluetooth speaker for 1,800 which we also use a lot as we like to listen to music in the mornings when we prepare for work, we use it when we watch movies and seeing that the radio in our car recently broke, we also now use it to listen to music when we travel long distances. I also had to pay my accountant 800 Rand for my personal tax filing. In November, I upgraded my equipment again in order to help improve my productivity and I bought the Logitech MX Keys wireless keyboard for 1,600 Rand and the Logitech MX Keys Master 3 advanced wireless mouse for 1,550 Rand. Both of these are game changers and they have really helped to improve my workflow, which I see as a good investment. I also purchased the Sigma 16mm f1.4 DCDN for Canon lens for 7,050 Rand and this really does make a big difference in the video quality as it adds that nice little blurry background that you will see many YouTubers use. I was actually a big idiot when I bought this one as I accidentally bought the Sigma lens for Sony and I have a Canon. So big shout out to Photo Discount World for helping me to swap it back for the right one. I also bought the GoPro 10 with a bunch of accessories for 11,125 Rand directly from the GoPro website in the UK. Again, this worked to be out much cheaper than if I would have bought the equivalent products in South Africa. I like to document our travels and I was using the SJ4000 action camera that I bought all the way back in 2016 up until this point, but the quality was not on par anymore. So I decided to upgrade to something more decent. I also bought the multicolor RGB LED fill light for 450 Rand, which I used to create a bit more color to my background. Then I also bought two new Samsung A52 phones for both my wife and I, and together with their covers and screen protectors, this cost 14,934 Rand in total. November was an expensive month, but seeing that I wanted to buy all of these products in any case, I made use of Black Friday specials to get massive discounts, so another pro tip here, don't just buy stuff on Black Friday because it is on special, see what you really need and then wait for the right time to buy it. We wanted to upgrade our phones for many months already, but we decided to wait until the price is right, so this delayed gratification is a very important skill to develop. In December 2021, I bought a yearly subscription to The Motley Fool for 1,625 Rand, which is a subscription service that gives a lot of insight into individual stocks, which is something that I am trying to learn more about this year. My wife is really artistic and she wanted to expand her skills into the digital art space, so we bought her a Yuan, 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 Yuan canvas 19 drawing tablet with a screen protector and a USB cable, again from Amazon, for 6,071 Rand. And then for the year of 2021, I paid a total of 5,717 Rand for internet, which is a 70 gigabyte per month data line from Access, as well as 5,193 Rand for banking costs on my NetBank Pays You Use business account, on which I feel like I got properly shafted, to be honest. So in total, I spent 108,029 Rand on my side hustle expenses for 2021. And then just to quickly touch on the expenses for 2022 up until this point, in January, I bought another two domains from Bluehost for future websites I want to build with a total cost of 908 Rand. I bought a HDMI to VGA adapter cable for 190 Rand that my wife uses to work on an old 17 inch Samsung SyncMaster 17V screen that was lying around in the house. I also gave away a gift voucher from Easy Equities to one of my lucky subscribers for 1000 Rand. By the way, I will be giving away another prize soon, so if you are not yet subscribed, then make sure you do so that you don't miss out on this opportunity. 
in February, we upgraded my wife's HP laptop as it was starting to slow down when using the drawing tablet. So we basically took out the one terabyte HDD, converted it to an external hard drive, and then we replaced it with a 240 gigabyte SSD drive. This cost 1,396 Rand. I also had to renew the website for pet sitting business for 1,889 Rand. We bought the ebook Atomic Habits from James Clear for 209 Rand. We paid for the yearly renewal of our Product 24 course with Income School for 3,204 Rand. And I bought myself the second generation Apple AirPods with a silicon case for 2,800 Rand. I know I am now one of those guys that wear Apple AirPods. Yeah. But you know what? I spend at least four to eight hours a day working on my computer, so I need decent earphones, especially when I edit. I did buy the Lipertech PeerPlay Z3 earbuds and the JBL Wave 200 TWS earbuds before this, but both of them started giving problems after just about one week. So I returned both of them and then bit the bullet and purchased something that I know has a good reputation. And to be honest, I will probably start to slowly move more towards Apple's products over the next three years or so. And then lastly, I upgraded my internet to a 90 gigabyte data line with access that cost 798 Rand for the two months. And then the total monthly banking fees for my business so far is 834 Rand. So in total, I spent 13,405 Rand for the year 2022. And to wrap this all up, my total expenses for all my side hustles for the past 26 months, starting from the beginning of 2020 until the end of February 2022, is a whopping 211,181 Rand or 8,123 Rand per month. Now, I know that this is a lot of money, but I see this as more as an investment in my wife and I's ability to increase our income moving forward. So on that note, let's look at what our side hustles ended up earning so far over the past 26 months. Although I started my veterinary YouTube channel in mid 2020, I didn't receive a single cent from it for the whole year. The only income that we received from our side hustles in 2020 was from my pet sitting business which ended up making a total profit of 26,503 Rand for the year or 2,209 Rand per month. My veterinary YouTube channel then got monetized on the 26th of April 2021, which ended up earning me a total of 33,707 Rand in YouTube AdSense revenue for the year. Although I started my personal finance channel in the beginning of the year, it wasn't monetized yet in 2021, but I did earn a little bit of affiliate commission, which amounted to a total of 2,885 Rand for the year. Our website also started earning ad revenue from the platform Ezoic on the 11th of August, which amounted to a total of 1,832 Rand for the year. Then in terms of support revenue, where my kind loyal subscribers donated some money to help support the channel, I received a total of 555 Rand for the year. This is mostly when people buy me a coffee for anything between $3 and $15. I have a link down in the description for that, but never really promoted this as it doesn't feel right to ask people for money. But yeah, it is available for those who do feel like they want to make a contribution, which I obviously do appreciate a lot. Okay, then lastly, my pet sitting business made 21,748 Rand profit for the year, which is less than the previous year, mostly because I appointed an assistant that ran the business on my behalf for whom I needed to pay a salary. So all in all, the total revenue I made in 2021 from all my side hustles amounted to 60,725 Rand or 5,061 Rand per month. And then to also just touch on the first two months of 2022, my personal finance channel got monetized on the 5th of January and combining it with my veterinary channel, I made a total of 5,924 Rand from YouTube ad revenue. Our website made 782 Rand from Mosaic ad revenue and between the two YouTube channels and the website, we made 
2027 rand in affiliate marketing income and in terms of support revenue we made 40 rand our pet sitting business brought in a profit of 1200 rand which in total is 9973 rand so far for 2022 or just 4987 rand per month so tying all of this together since the first day we started showing an interest in starting a side hustle until 26 months later we spent a total of 211,181 rand or 8,123 rand per month and we earned a total of 97,198 rand or 3,739 rand per month now as you can see we are obviously still running at a loss of 54% but this is when taking into consideration every single cent we spent we obviously would have bought many of these items regardless if we wanted to earn an income from it but I wanted to include everything in order to give you an as accurate representation as possible earning passive income is not easy don't let anyone convince you otherwise we have spent countless hours sitting on our butts working in the early mornings late evenings and over weekends while still having a taxing full-time job as veterinarians taking all the researching scripting filming editing and publishing into a consideration it takes me anywhere from 10 to 20 hours to produce a video like this one and seeing that i've already published more than 100 videos you guys can do the maths to work out how much of my time I invested in these side hustle ventures. Now, I can obviously earn way more money by just spending all this time on just being a vet. But I know that staying consistent with these ventures, it will eventually start earning more and more money, which will hopefully one day compensate me adequately for my time and efforts. And that is what creating passive income is realistically about you need to invest a ton of time and sometimes even a ton of money with barely earning anything in return in the beginning to build up something consistently over time that will hopefully compound and earn you true passive income in the future so yeah that is it guys this was a pin long video and if you are still watching by now then i know that you are a true fan so thank you so much this video was very important for me to make as i am about to make a massive life-changing decision which i will soon tell you guys all about and this just gives me a nice benchmark to work from moving forward if you guys have any questions regarding any of my expenses or streams of income then please feel free to let me know down in the comments and if you found this video helpful then as always please give it a massive clap so that it can turn blue for the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching have a lucky day i'll see you in another video next week cheers